Kolkawa's theory of comfort is identified as a middle range theory because it explores the ways in which comfort can be delivered to patients and evaluated by nurses. The concept of origami is often used to explore this theory because specific steps are used both in origami by paper folding as in exploring middle range theories. Kolkawa views administering comfort as a holistic, overarching goal of nursing, where the nurse's primary focus is to assess verbal and non-verbal and subjective and objective data to formulate and execute comfort measures. Nurses aim to ensure that patients feel comforted, regardless of the environment that they're in or the illness or disease that they have. Creating an environment conducive to healing and providing support to patients emotionally, physically, spiritually, and mentally are ways that nurses can provide comfort. The comfort theory, as developed by Kolkaba, incorporates in its foundation Nightingale's environmental principles of providing care. If the environment is calming and comforting, the patient will be less likely to develop anxiety and therefore allow the patient to be relaxed and comfortable. This theory was first developed in the 1900s for health practices, education, and research. The main concepts and linkages of this theory is that people have a holistic response to a variety and combination of different stimuli. Comfort is a holistic response to nursing. People need comfort and seek it out. And nurses are responsible to assess, meet, and evaluate comfort needs in their patients. In nursing, providing comfort and pain management is an important role of the nurse. A patient feeling pain is unlikely to be comfortable. Once the patient is able to manage their pain or feel less pain, they are more likely to feel comfort. This is when relief, ease, and transcendence, the three main types of comfort in this theory, can occur. For example, if a patient has been experiencing tremendous pain and then, giving, then given a pain medication, they will likely feel relief once the medication takes effect. The patient will also feel ease at, as their pain subsides. The ease domain is focused on the psychological state of the patient. Transcendence occurs when the patient is able to rise above their challenges, in this case, rising above their pain and discomfort. The context of these comforts can either be physical, psycho-spiritual, environmental, or sociocultural. The conceptual framework for comfort theory involves the healthcare needs of the patient or the family in a particular practice setting, comforting interventions as an immediate desirable outcome for nursing care, according to this comfort theory, intervening variables, which are factors that are not likely to change and over which providers have little control over, such as a prognosis, financial situation, an extent of social support, and others. And these specific combinations of the number and types of comfort measures needed, the context and intervening variables influence a patient's overall perception of the level and type of comfort needed. Okay, so here we have a five-year-old boy who had a laparotomy and he's just recovering in the PICU and we're applying Catherine Kolkaba's comfort nursing theory on this child. How are you today? Good. You okay? How's your pain? How's your incision? Good. Does it hurt a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let me get you some water. You thirsty? All right, so this won't hurt at all. It's just giving me a little bit more. Okay. And you said your pain hurts. I'll just get you your medicine, your little pills that you take. Okay. Oh. And do you like bubbles? Mm -hmm. Does that help with your, with the pain? Mm -hmm. Your tummy feel better? Do you want to try blowing? Yeah. Okay. Let's turn it on. There we go. Okay. You can lie down. Careful your incision. You see your hand there. Just relax. Maybe you close your eyes.
Do you like coloring? Or more? Books? Yeah, okay, I'll get you a coloring book. There's some dinosaur books and you can be careful to sit back. There you go.